New tonight at 11, Lynchburg police have a car they want you to watch out for because the person inside could be connected to nearly 30 fires set in the city since last week. Come over to your screen and get a good look at this car. Police say it's a mid 2000s silver or gray Nissan Altima with a sunroof. Officers are looking for the car in connection to 28 recent fires in the Hill City. Investigators say in some cases someone is setting fire to household items set by the curb for trash pickup. If you've seen the car we just showed you or have any information, call the fire marshal's office or Lynchburg police. Today, Roanoke's reset team went business to business in downtown Roanoke near the site of this weekend shooting. As we've reported, two people were shot near Market Square. The reset team passes out information with resources for those impacted by gun violence. Today, volunteers listen to business owners' concerns. The team's coordinator says he hopes their presence will help the community following acts of violence. Hopefully, it will have an impact on them. And the services that we that are listed on our brochure will enable them to acquire them those services. The reset team is made up of volunteers. If you'd like to help, we have how to sign up at WSLS.com. The number of crashes involving cars and pedestrians doubled last year in Roanoke. And tonight, city leaders want to underscore their new safety tagline for this year. There's no need to speed. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer shows us why they say everyone will play a part in saving lives. That's right. Life moves at a different speed when you're walking rather than driving. It's a lesson a few dozen learned Tuesday night as city transportation manager Dwayne Darden kicked off this year's pedestrian safety campaign. We hope to get some community input. We hope to get uh, folks engaged and we hope to get them to sign the pledge. No need to speed. It's a tagline you'll see popping up in signs all across Roanoke. 9th Street in Southeast is one of 10 priority corridors and where they walked alongside the Neighborhood Association to get people looking. Be able to come out and inspire the community to get involved and do more. And for public safety, that is, is key. Last year, the city launched every corner as a crosswalk, but car versus pedestrian crashes doubled from three to seven. City Neighborhood Services Coordinator Joshua Johnson says this year, is about doubling down on the city's emphasis on walkability. We talk about these complete streets as it being safe for vehicles, pedestrians, bicycles, scooters, motorcycles, and really just a, a place that all people can safely uh, tra traverse our city. Speeding causes crashes. Roanokers will soon see this PSA on their screens with the reminder. The night ended with a sweet treat for all the hard work. Walk sign is on to cross. There's much more still left to do. To educate them that there is really no need to speed. Whatever they can do can wait. And we just need to work on the design and engineering, but also education piece. So those are the two things we're focused on. In Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. City says they need your help to make the program a success. You can sign up to be a community ambassador, share your story, and take the pledge. We've got the details with the story on WSLS.com.